and don't get it twisted. As I speak, it ain't my voice that you're supposed to be hearing. It's supposed to be his voice through the Holy Spirit. Witnessing to you that Jesus is the truth. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Ain't nobody come to God except through him. There ain't no other gate given. Everything else is just a fence. You're going to beat your head against it. You're going to knock, but it ain't going to open. Why? Because they're dead and useless. That's how it is. There's only one living one. There's only one that has conquered sin, death, and the devil that rose from the grave. His name is Jesus. That way, there's only one opening, which is cool because now you know how to get there. You see the people funneling into life? Get in line, follow behind, and go out and find the pastor. You see, I thought Cross was crazy when he said, I can't see the cow from the cow cage. I was the crazy one. Because don't you understand, we got, like the fog was covering the cattle, we got fog on our eyes, and we never see that we are in a cage ourselves. There's a veil on us. And Jesus Christ came to pierce that veil that we might see clearly that we are in shackles in this that we are bound up, we are prisoners, and we have been um, given a savior that we might be set free. The fog, eventually, when the light of day shows up, burns off, and we are meant to see the reality of it, that we might come to our senses, seek the face of God, find the blood of Jesus, and come into life through him and only him. That's what the truth of this is. We ain't got no excuses when the light of day shines on us, when he reveals the truth to us through his Holy Spirit, when he speaks to our heart that Jesus is Lord, and that if I will believe in my heart and confess with my mouth the same, I will be saved. I will come in and I will go out and I will find.